every night at sunset, we would have to uh, throw a couple of switches and go directional. I think we were protect, protecting uh, WGN, Chicago. Uh, by the way, Eric, I, I can't tell you how many nights I came within... I actually had my finger on the button. I, I, I worked at KWN, Eric, for a total of 10 years. I worked uh, late night. I came to work at about 10 o'clock at night. Um, I would go on the air uh, at 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'd frequently be on the air until 6 o'clock in the morning doing talk radio. And again, in the beginning, it was absolutely uh, political. So I did that for a long time um, and really, really, really enjoyed myself and did very well uh, in the ratings. But I, just for the hands out there, I thought I'd tell you, Eric, there were about 10 or 15 times that I actually went over to the console, put my finger on the switch that would turn us non-directional. I wanted to see if I could get calls from other parts of the country. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I came within just that much of turning that baby non-directional. I can't tell you how many times, but, you know... I was in mortal fear of the Federal Communications Commission, and I'm, I was sure they would come marching in and chop my head off within minutes. So I never did do it. I'm kind of still sorry I didn't, frankly. Um, so what happened, Eric, is here I am, pretty successful doing this nighttime show, uh, being heard across 13 states as advertised, getting a lot of calls. And one day I got bored. Politics. Ah, not another night. Not another five hours of politics. Oh, no. So, I had a friend. Uh, you may have heard the name or know the name Lear. Um, as in Learjet. Well, John Lear is the son of the man who put together and owned Learjet. John Lear. And John has some unusual ideas about virtually everything, including UFOs, including uh, Area 51 that I'm very close to uh, as I speak to you right now, uh, and the things that have gone on out there. So I thought, you know, I wonder what will happen. Now, now bear in mind, the owners of KWN were conservatives. They ran that as a conservative radio station. Anything else was heresy. So. I thought, well, just one night. Let me give it a try. And I, I had John Lear on. I thought, how interesting would it be to talk about Area 51, to talk about UFOs, to talk about all sorts of different things. So I had him on, and that was the beginning of the end, Eric. Um, I began getting so many calls uh, that, uh, well, we had an 800 line. Uh, that was back in the days when you had to have an 800 line. If you wanted out-of-state calls, that's how you got them. And I kept doing these kinds of topics. Uh, and about a month into it, Eric, of course, my boss was going totally berserk, uh, not wanting me to do this, ordering me not to do this, threatening to fire me. And by the way, they did fire me, I think, three and perhaps four times 